bam, bam, bam. What is it? <laughs> bam, bam, bam. We not out here causing Bro. trouble, boy. Keep your guns back in your pocket. Hi guys, I'm Sonny James, and today I'm here with Josh for the first show, first episode called "Pass Me the Ball." Let's get it. We got the spirit that's real, and this is how we come on grab the mic and steal. Right, quick question, though. Quick question to be asked. Yeah, what's what's motivation to you? Motivation. Like, okay. The grit and grind type okay. of okay. shit. It's me waking up every morning, eight or seven, mm -hmm. and telling myself that I can change this life, this day to a better day. Yeah. That's, that's true. And that's true. And that makes me go in every day. Wake up in the morning. Yeah. Get up early and just, you know. I am mean, pray to God because I, in the morning, I pray to God, listen to prayers and then get out of the house, listen to no music, just walk. And yeah. just, you know, listen to what's happening around you. Yeah. And that's how it keeps me motivated. Especially what's going on right now. Yeah. It's tough, you know. COVID, man. Yeah. Big time in Hong Kong. I mean, I just heard today there's like 600 cases. That's crazy. Yeah. Very crazy. <laughs> I mean, so, Bro. I mean, okay. That's I'll, why, that's why it sucks. We can't hoop right now. You true, know, true. Like I would really love to hoop, man. Like right. every single okay, day. Go. Pass Catch me the ball. ball. Yeah, right. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, you want to yeah. hoop? Right. I mean, yeah. To be honest, I do miss it because we were in the middle of the games. Yeah. Uh, we we're Division Three, Singto. We we're, mm -hmm. were in the middle of the games, and it was like we we're in top sixteen. Yeah. And our games were supposed to be in December, and unfortunately, COVID. Yeah. Came out of nowhere. Yeah, and you were balling a lot. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I ball outdoors, like okay. you know, in the streets, in the okay. park, okay. like nice. small leagues. That's good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Okay, I don't know. I mean, I would, I would want to ask this as well. Like, how do you know me? Oh, was, do okay, you, do you, okay. Do you, do, you, do you remember how we met? Because to be honest, I know you who I who, but is it the only? That's the only way we met, or, or you went against me or something, or did I go? Well. Playing against you is like an honor, man. Oh, it's all good, bro. Yeah, exactly. you know, you, exactly. you're like against you and with you. It's an honor, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, I mean, playing with you as well, man. Like, I know you for like three, four years, I guess. And you've changed dramatically. The game, yeah. Yes, I came dramatically. from a post player. Dude. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I heard back in high school, you played post. Yeah. What school did you go to in high school? Uh, Delhi Hip Wall. Damn, we rivals. We are Broadway. <laughs> Broadway, bro. yeah. Broadway, but we never went against each other. No. I guess. I don't think, think so. It was usually going through the other schools, like St. Paul and all that stuff. Then but did you know that uh, Broadway was a division two when I was like already like done with hi high school actually? Really? Yeah. Damn. Division two, man. Yeah. I mean, when I was there, it was like division three. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I mean, we had good players as well, but then it was just. Yeah, we all were fucking around, you know. Yeah, How life was back in days in high school. Yeah, That's I think it. Mark Ron was one of them. I I used to watch him like he shoot crazy. Yeah, he was a great he, he he used to ball a lot. He yeah, used, uh, his famous idol, I would say, I still know who that is, mm -hmm. Stephen Curry. Yeah, no, yeah, Steph, yes, yo, yeah, Steph, Steph changed the game. That's why yes, Steph changed yes. the game, bro. I mean, Steph playing NBA, just a whole different thing. He yeah. changed the game over the years, I would say. Uh -huh. And I mean, also he changed the Hong Kong generation of basketball. Yeah, that's why everybody look up to him till now, man. Yeah, I mean, back in my era, I would say. He wasn't shooting that much, right? No, he wasn't. It was just like, what, post-up plays, yeah. pass and uh, just low post, cut around, that's it. But now, I mean, your generation, I would say, the it's game has skills, skills yeah, pass, patient, cut, yeah, pace. Yeah. It's kind of changing. Yeah. It's changed a lot. I mean, we train what, how people are like doing screens. Yeah. We never used to do that. And we were like, oh shit. Yeah. Doing screens. Okay, I think that's the disadvantage from now. Like people mm. don't use that, what you use yeah. back then. Yes. Like, yeah. Exactly. But I would say your game is great. For yeah. us as well. Yeah. And we will use it more faster because we know how to, we already know how to run the place, but when yeah. we use pass and cut, it's more easier as well. Yeah. You played for any team in Hong Kong? Back then, I used to play this team called Yuk Fai. Okay. Yeah, that's my recent one. Yuk Fai is in Division Two. Side. Yeah, Division, Division two. two. But uh, I played for Division Three. The coach was uh, yeah. Lo I play Chawai. under that development. Yeah, uh, Lo Chawai. Yeah, Lo Chawai yeah. is a really good coach. Yeah, I heard he played CBA for one year yes, yes, before coaching yes, our yes, team. That's yes, crazy. Yes. Yeah. I got trained by him once, and he was training with us as well. Yeah, he's yeah. tough. He's tough. He. I heard he made one of our teammates vomit twice. 
Really? Yeah, he, Damn. his workouts are crazy, bro. His basketball skills, he changed over the years as well. Yeah, I played I, mean, it, I played against him and with him too. And he plays mostly in the post. He yes. got no shooting no, though. No, but no, his no. post games are like on Kobe. Spot. Like on spot, on spot bro. On spot. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so you played in Yoke Fight. Yeah. And then, so now you're nowhere. Yeah, I'm nowhere right okay. now. Just like, Just you working know, on yourself. Yeah. Okay. Working okay, on myself. Okay. Kind of enjoy it too. I couldn't like touch uh, different aspects of my life. Okay. So, I mean, you asked me the question, what motivates me? I kind of mm-hmm. told you as well. I want to ask you, uh, what motivates you as well then? Well, what motivates me right now is like, you know, you got to have that drive. Okay. You got to like, if you want something, like you plant the seed, right? Okay. And then you let it grow. Okay. Each day you wake up, you got to let it grow. Okay. So that's that's my mindset right now. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's good. I mean, yeah. How old are you now? Are you 23. Okay. So, I mean, you're still young, bro. Yeah, I know. It's, it's kind of tough, but I know. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean <laughs> not the right time to what you should experience. Yeah. But then it is what it is. I mean. Yeah, you, I know. You it's live like, with it. You yeah. grow with it. And you just move on and like make yourself better for sure. Yeah, true. That's good. Okay. So I was going to ask, okay, talking about basketball, mm-hmm. just basketball, uh, I want to ask you, we know we have the ethnic minorities community. Yeah. And we do have the local basketball, right? Yeah. Okay. If you would have to say like, if you could bring your skills to a local team and, but, but could you use it also in the one child leagues or... You know, like teams that or the other leagues do you play too? Okay, I would say I would go for a move, like a skill move. I don't know, just like, like what you, you learned just... in, uh, let's say, in the Chinese leagues. Yeah. Can you bring that to an ethnic minority team or any Filipino leagues? Oh, how, okay. How do you do that? Okay, so, damn, what I learned from that um, the team that I used to play before mm-hmm. was like, Communication is always the key. Okay. You got to be vocal. Okay. That's that's my strongest part in the court. Okay. Because I got like teammates that I could trust that okay. they do their part. So it works as a team. Okay. Yeah. I really enjoy playing with that team. We played like, uh, we had a small run each week okay. with good teams. Say like uh, Chung Yuk something. Yuk something. Uh, Chun Yu. Yeah, Chun Yu. Yeah, Chun Yu. Guys. My bad. By the way, <laughs> Chun Yu. I speak fluent Cantonese. Josh yeah, I, is, no. We're just gonna hear some few words in Cantonese. Yeah, like, this, this is real talk right now. <laughs> this is real talk. Yeah, my guy's fluent with it, bro. Exactly. I mean, they they English man. I have a I say, I don't know what you mean. So it's not just English. We talk Cantonese. That's why we're diverse. You know, like they hold hand. Ying Ying Chun Da Mo So Why. But we'll talk in English because this is something new. It's the first time we're doing it, and yeah, it's, and and it's good. So you get you low, you find Nito. Yes, looking at me. Yes, 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 sir. Okay, yeah, yeah. Back at it again. Back at it again. Basketball. Yep. Okay, basketball. Uh, what do you think of what do you think of Hong Kong basketball? I mean, you lived here most of your life. Yeah, um, played Hong Kong basketball for like I don't know how many years, but like say five. Five. Okay. Yeah. So you're not born in Hong Kong. I was born in Hong Kong. Like you were born in Hong Kong. Kowloon side. Kowloon side. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Kowloon, Kowloon side. side. I mean, okay, bro. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, tell me, what do you, well, what do you think of Hong Kong basketball? It's kind of like uh, Taipei. Okay. And uh, Japan, where you like communicate. Okay. And like has a lot of great teamwork. Actually, you don't you don't have to rely on yourself, man. Okay, in Hong Kong. Yeah, okay, it's like good. you you ha- everybody's like on the same page with you. Once you get there, like you could feel it, right? Okay, but do you have any like do you have any players that you admire in Division One? Kapiat. Kapiat. Yeah. Oh, there you go. See, he's for Cantonese. He's like Kapiat. Hey, I, a little okay. bit, man. Kapiat. Okay. It's just the tone. Yes. Um. Not really, but like I look up like. To Oliver. Oliver Zoo? I think. Yeah. The Oliver one Zoo. plays for uh Fukin. Fukin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fukin. Number twenty four. Yeah, twenty four. I, I see Oliver, don't worry about it. I saw him one time he dropped like forty in a game, bro. Yeah, I think okay. It was 40 I don't know 33. what game was thirty three. Yeah. I yeah. mean that guy, I mean, I know him for a while. Like Yeah, we, I like his mindset. Yes. Yeah. Just like 
him and his brother, I think they started playing. I used to play in Wan Chai. Yeah. We used to like every Saturday, Sundays, we used to have all different kind of people just hoping up in basketball. Wan Chai court, obviously, one of mm-hmm. the famous courts. South yes, outdoor, definitely. Where yeah. everyone goes to watch <laughs> yeah. you, me, or yeah. anyone else. Because yes, sir. that's where the hoopers are. <laughs> it's the hoop mixtape yes, life. <laughs> exactly. And that's where the magic and everything goes, you know. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I met them. He changed a lot. I mean, he always wanted to be a shooter. And he's a good shooter. Yeah. Oliver is a good shooter. I mean... I I watch his old tape like old tapes like <laughs> shit that's it old tapes <laughs> I think I'll, I'll tape okay yeah but he plays on the post okay and he likes to drive in he got that jab mm. yeah it's crazy I mean that guy works so hard yeah he wa- he works really extremely how about you man who do you look uh, who up do to? I who do I look up to in okay. Division uh, One. I, I know, I know who yellow ye- is the yellow jersey, yellow right? Jersey. I mean, okay, I'll be I'll yellow be, jersey. I'll be straight up honest. Okay, I played basketball. Let's say nearly 10, 11 years. Started playing since primary six. Yeah, I got picked off the street by one of my coach, uh, Ranson, to this league, and luckily I met this guy called Francis, amazing person, and I got to play basketball for his team. Mm-hmm. And from there on, I just grew. Because I met a lot of different coaches, yeah. Uh, got different trainings, yeah. And I get to see the game in a different way. Yeah. And that's how. That's how. And that's where I'm right now, where people know me, who I am. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. I would say I admire, uh, Choi Se, Choi Fong Yun, okay, and Pun Si Ho. Pun Si Ho, the one uh, number eleven, you see. Yeah. Be? Yeah, but he's good. But... He's a shooter. Yeah. Sharp shooter. Sharp shooter. Yeah, he was one of the best shooters in Hong Kong. Did he coach Sulai too? The one in he... HKMA. Yes, so I think he was coaching uh, HKMA. Yeah. And I was thinking he also coached Delia Hippo once or something? No? Yeah, I think when I was like uh, a young in, yeah, in that yeah, school, everybody yeah. told me that he was a coach. Yeah, and then I for played for Sun Ching Lun. Yeah. That's MYA like three, four years ago. And he was my coach. Yeah. But then Choi, uh, Choi Fong Yun, he yeah. took, he's, I would say, one of the best coaches I've had. Because his basketball game is very simple. Yeah, it's like when in trainings you train hard or you sit the fuck down. So what's what's his like drills like every time in training like uh, anything I mean, that made that like me cultural training like I would it's say insane. it's uh okay so I was never a shooter. Yeah, obviously because I was I had speed I used to do layups and all that stuff and, yeah. and I was fast. I learned how the court vision really quick, but I was only missing a shooting. So he would say, you gotta shoot in a practice hundred shots of threes. A hundred shot of threes. And you got to make it till you leave. That's it. And it's like, if you can't make those, you can't play in the court. Okay. And that was the only thing got me going. And also, there were matches where I didn't play. I get to just sit down the whole game. I feel you because yeah. I've been through I mean, that. Yeah, and you obviously, know, like- and when, that was the toughest moment because uh, we were, I think, top eight. And he didn't put me in two games. Yeah. And I felt so bad. I was like, okay, this is not cool. I would want to play, sub me out, and let me see, let me show you what he got and all that. But yeah. he wouldn't let me go. And what happened is one day I should have went to him after training. I was like, "Think about him, I was like, "Why didn't you put me out?" He's like, "Cause you're not ready. If you can show me you're ready, I'll put you out." I got that. Yeah, coach. and I was like, and it, <laughs> that kind of hit me, and I was like, "You're right." And that's when I put in my time, my effort, just to play ball. Yeah, that would keep me driving. So if you ask me what motivates me, is the person who knows me more than I do, and he knows what's best for me. True. That gets me going. And he just be like, oh, I'm going to push you. And I want that kick to get me going like, okay, you know what? I can get this done no matter what. And It translates to yeah, life it too. Trans- life too as well. Yeah, Wherever yeah. I am right now, what am I doing? And I would say it's Choi Se and Poon Si Ho. They're the best. And the best players in Hong Kong. And they played in England. Poon Si Ho is still playing though, right? This Poon Si Ho is still playing. Um, but... COVID. But COVID, <laughs> yeah, sad, sad life. life I mean, and also, I got you guys know Tyler. Tyler, yeah. Tyler Cutway. Good guy. Plays amazing basketball. <laughs> huge like, fan. Huge fan, yo. <laughs> yeah. 55. Yeah. You know what's my jersey number for sing though? It's for- basically 66. Oh, okay. So you know what I mean? <laughs> After you is me. I'm getting there. You know, I'm just trying to... Uh, Tyler, I still love you, bro. Like, all cool. You know, be cool. But yeah, yeah, Tyler is great, bro. Like if you, okay, I want to ask. Would division, you play Tyler one-on-one? <laughs> yo, I had the chance. I did uh, back in 
three, four years ago, it was an Adidas event going on. It was a Dero shoes out. Yeah. And he happened to be there as well. And I saw him as well because the media people, they called some of the people out and I was one of them. I played with him. I played with him. He just hit me with a jab. That's it. That's it? That's it. He's quick. <laughs> he is quick. I, I thought I was quick with my handles. Yeah. Wait, but he's quick. How old are you that time? Bro, I think I was like, what? 23, 24? Damn. He's quick. Yeah, I was 23, 24. Yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, he can shoot his mid-range. He's like the pull-up game, one-two dribble. Perfect. The jump shot is like locked in. Especially yeah. threes. Yeah. If you see him, he does that fast break and he just pulls it up right away. That's like, I would say is like the best shots. The best. Like he's in the zone. He knows he's going to go in. Yeah. And he fucking goes. I don't know if you saw that game where against Tycoon, he hit a buzzer beater to win the game, but they canceled it. You guys, you know that? Nah, but I think Nate has the tape, so I'm going to check it out. Uh, Does Nate have the tape? I'm not sure about it. Do you have the tape? No. Maybe. It was like a year or two year ago game where it was a really tight game. Was it? Uh, not two years ago. Oh, one year ago, I guess. Oh, f- I only have oh, wow. the, oh, wow. last season. Last season, yeah. Oh, by the way, the guy who's all all this yeah. guy, that's my man, Mr. Nate. Nate. <laughs> that's, why, that's why we're here right that's, now that's recording why this. That's, that's why we're here. And we're giving a, probably a good show to you guys as well. Just make sure. Show some Subscribe. love and support. Yes. <laughs> love and support. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. Nate, the one and only, Pass Me the Ball. That's what it's called, the podcast. Should have a red carpet right now. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, back to what I was saying. Back to what we were saying. Uh, okay. So, really like, who you look you, up to? I look up Tyler, bro. Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> All day, every day. His workouts are insane. I've seen it. He trains extremely hard, shots everywhere. He coaches um, Impact. Pro. Pro young kids, yeah. Like he, I, I know, I know one of them is uh, Isaac. Okay, you Isaac. Oh, Isaac Cheng. Cheng, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, he goes around. Isaac has built his game as well. Yeah, dude. As a what? Is like what seventeen or? 16? He's I think eighteen, nineteen now. Yeah, dude. He got pretty big. I mean, he knows a lot of people as well. <laughs> right. So, which is good stuff. I'm excited to see how he grows, though. I feel like, like he's gonna go know? back to the states. He might go back to the States. That's crazy. Because he, cu- he had a couple of visits there. So who knows? Yeah. How get an offer. Are you going to get out of Hong Kong from this COVID? And- uh, nah, I'm going to stay. Everything is like, you know, just like, I know things are hard right now. Okay. But like, you know, just process everything. So you're just staying in Hong Kong for yeah. a while, nothing much. Yeah. Okay, that's good. All right. Uh, I want to ask as well. Where do you get your training from? You know your basketball training? Oh yeah, I, I do. Do you have some, anyone that you go to, or you do it yourself in the park? But you know, you the yada who. Back then, or what? Yada who? <laughs> yeah. What? Sorry, that was out of randomness. You yada, <laughs> put that out. Yada. <laughs> yes, sir. There we go. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean, like? So, like, I mean, obviously, you change your game mm-hmm. dramatically over the years. Mm-hmm. From a post player to a guard. Yeah, to a guard. What was that whole like? timeline like who did you train with what did you, did you train yourself or you were watching a lot of videos or trained by someone else or you, well whatever um, was it yeah um back then mm-hmm. to um evolve my game in high school yep because i was the only center but we got one more center i don't want to name who but he was okay. like six three. Oh, okay but instead of that they use me <laughs> oh <laughs> I'm like, what? Okay. I mean, tough. Yeah, so well playing as as a center, <laughs> I keep watching Olajuwon. Okay. Yeah. He's from Hawks. No, Houston. Sorry, sorry guys. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. This guy said what? Just, what? Just think I no, 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 I'm kidding, bro. All right. Yeah. But yeah, see uh from Houston. Okay, nice. And Houston. then um I saw a clip that he was training Dwight when he was ah, in Orlando. That was, a, that was a very old video. This on uh, YouTube as well, right? Yeah, it was yeah. Like in, a house, in a clubhouse or something, or is it yeah, old? yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, 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 I've seen that, bro. But back in the days, like you can't get internet like that. Now uh, it's too fast. Okay, true. Yeah, so like, watch a couple of clips and then I'd always do it in the park. Okay, in Jordan Park. You know, the park, <laughs> yes. the, the, the ghetto street, yes, you know, sir. shout out Jordan Park, Jordan man. Park as well. yeah, <laughs> I grew up with that park, yes, bro. Yeah, it's, it's all love. There's no fights there, guys. Like, you know, basketball is just 
a game which everyone loves. Yeah, like, Kowloon side. <laughs> yes. I grew up there. That's why. Okay. I think like four years or maybe ten. Okay. Yeah. So you would just do drills as well. That's it. Yeah, and, and you know, by using like I I just use that reps that they're doing, okay. and I translate that to the court. Okay. And then when I translate that to the court, I translate it to the game. Okay. That's cool. why every time like I get in the post, I get good at it. Like I feel good. But how did you change to a post player to a whole totally guard? That's when I got the. It changes that when I got that offer from my coach. Okay. So like I was already uh, like done with high school basketball. Okay. And then he offered me to join his team. Okay. It's like a division three. Okay. And they have pretty good centers back then. I think mm. uh, one of them plays in um, Pegasus. His name is Rain. Okay. Kin Long. Yeah, Kin Long. Kin Long. <laughs> can sponsor us. Kin Long is division what? Division one. one. What? It came from where? Is that was two? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's playing there right now. Okay. And when I was out of the high school team, he was there. Like, you know, dude, I'm a fucking center in high school. Okay. I have to get this guy. <laughs> okay. And I, like a grown man, like, what the yeah. fuck you want me to do, right? Makes sense. Yeah, and I was like, I was fighting through my way and uh, kind of changed my game. And they always call me like Damon Green. Okay, Draymond like, Green. I, I can shoot threes. Danny Green. No, Damon Green. Is it Damon? The one in uh, Warriors? Draymond Green. Draymond Green. Is it Drummond? Did you guys have NBA players or what? Yo. Bro. <laughs> Let me just take a deep breath. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> is, 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 yo. Um, <laughs> yo, this guy right here. He's called Draymond Green. <laughs> Draymond? Draymond Green? <laughs> okay, I, I, I Draymond, thought I was wrong. It's Draymond, oh, right? Draymond. Draymond. Draymond, that's yeah, what I Draymond said. Green. It's My okay. bad. My Yo, bad. Uh, please tag him as well <laughs> and get him out of there, bro. My bad. Give him a signs and red, like give him like uh, a letter give saying. Give me a meme right now, right now, right now. Yes, sir. <laughs> Got me meme. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. So yeah, is it Drummond so, or Draymond? <laughs> Draymond. <laughs> All right, Draymond. 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 <laughs> Draymond. Yes, sir. Draymond Green. Yes, sir. What number? Twenty. <laughs> How was he? 25? He's not 25. Nah. 23? Yeah, he's 23. 23? Yeah, he's 23. Damon Jr. is <laughs> Wait, how does he shoot? He shoots weird. <laughs> yeah, that's him then. Yeah, but he got he got post game actually. That's we're talking about Draymond, not Draymond or whatever he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, Draymond right. Green. There we go. There you yes, go. Draymond go. Green. Yes. So yeah. that was the they call me that and I uh, watch his clips. That was clips. so bad. They call you Draymond Green? <laughs> yeah, because back in the days, I feel like that's how I could like evolve my game from okay. Draymond Green. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I keep offending. But like, it's just, I'm so bad at pronouncing it, but I'm going to try. Okay. Cool, cool. Draymond. Right. Okay, cool. Draymond. There you go. You got Draymond it. Draymond Green. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Number 23. Yeah, 23 from where? <laughs> Warriors, bro. Doesn't Warriors. He... Oh my God, you. Okay, I thought I was wrong on uh, who's that guy again? Akeem Olajuwon. Akeem Olajuwon, Akeem, but yeah. bro, you he's messed. Definitely old. I mean, Draymond is like. Draymond is like still playing. So I mean, technically bad, you messed man. up, but I'm yeah. still playing. So yeah. Sorry, sorry. Right. Draymond. Okay, so there from there on, now, okay, now you change your game to be a guard. Yeah, because but... Draymond has that that thing I like when you shoot in the corner. Okay. He likes it in the corner and the wing. Uh, That's why he gets like good shots over there. And okay. like from that, he can have a good post, okay. which I can take advantage of it as well. Because okay. I have the experience, man. Come on. Six Damn. years. Did you, did you guys just see what he did? <laughs> Six years, bro. Like <laughs> One second. Sorry. I know it's kind of braggy, but like, come no, no. on, bro. Just, <laughs> no, it's not a brag. It's a good thing what you said. And it just, it was pretty cool because you came out so like- in Smooth. A deep, no, you're like, yo, what's up? And then you're like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> slow down, buddy. You, you got me there. Okay, right, that's good. So down, but now yeah. guards, uh, do you have anyone coaching you or you still just watch his videos? That time? Now. Now? Yeah. No, not really. No, okay. Yeah. So you're just training by yourself as well? Yeah, I actually shot. had some couple of shots. Okay, you know. that's good. Yeah. So you play in Wan Chai Leagues? 
Yeah. Do you like playing against your friends or do you like playing with them? I mean, why not even talk about this? It's it's a good topic. I mean, really? Right? Mm, I'm not sure, but because it's Hong Kong, man. It's like kind of private, small like city. So would you play, would you like to play against them or would you like to be just, they want, you want to join their team or they want to join their team? What do you prefer? I prefer is just like playing. You know, you get to play the game against them. No, what? you get to play the <laughs> yeah. game. Like uh, you get to like compete as well. But sometimes the competition is like not good. Okay, so you would want to play against them with friends. Yeah, yeah. Would you? Oh, bro, I would love to. I mean, yeah. I see you back then in Poyo. <laughs> you were trash talking some couple of guys out yeah, there, I man. I mean, okay, I'll be honest with you right now. It was man. heated, bro. Yo, that day was heated. I mean, okay, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. What I'm on the court is not what I'm off the court. Yeah. Because, yes, basketball for me is a big thing. Yeah. I've been playing for so long. I've mm-hmm. earned the name, which is amazing, which a lot of people know me about it. Yeah. But I would say it's also like, yeah, I mean, basketball is serious. I want to win. Definitely. I mean, obviously, I don't come on the court to like, lose, la- right? Yeah, or like laugh out or be like, "Hey, yeah. guys, no, no, I want to win," but in a win in a way that we win all together and get better and get better. Yeah, yeah obviously, there's trash talk. That's yeah, part it's of part the of the game. It's part of the game. It's just I would say it's all mentally. Yeah, and you take that in and still win a game. That makes you a better athlete. Well, that's why some people struggle to that. Yes. And you know, that's that's when you got to know it's like, it's a part of the game, It's man. part of the game. You got to I mean, adapt. You got to go, you know. Yeah. I mean, look at NBA players or just look at like Hong Kong players. Yeah. Yeah, they <laughs> beef, bro. They fight and all that stuff. But in the, the day, they're still friends. You still hang, see them hanging out with Chan Chan Tang, mm-hmm. going karaoke, going LKF. I mean, whoa. Yeah, we slowed it down there. LKF, you know. But yeah. Okay. So who would you want to play against in Hong Kong from your friends? I think I told you. How about you, though? I told you I about mean, this earlier. Is, was it recorded? Me, I, I, I don't like, know. I'm not sure. I feel like the viewers didn't even hear what you said, though. I mean, it wasn't recorded that day, right? Let's just go <laughs> recap. Ting, 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 ting. All right. So, um, and Josh, So who do you like playing against? You go first, then I'll go. All I right. I don't even know what I like playing against. I think I feel like I know who. You got to say the names. You can describe that person. Because, I mean, if you want them to know the name, cool. <laughs> but if you want to keep it like a, like a hide-and-seek game, you know. Should we do this like a hide-and-seek game? <laughs> Should we do this like a hide-and-seek game? I'm not really sure, but why not? <laughs> All right, then. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Describe that person. So this guy is like, you know, like I'm not sure, like five, five, five? Five, five. five. Damn. I think you know who I'm talking about, so you just go go along with it. Okay, cool. Yeah. I think what do you think is five five? Hmm. Yeah, around that. Yeah. Got good uh, build. Yeah. Good build. Bro, that guy tough. Young. He's young. He's right? young, man. Yeah, 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 he's young. Time you step in the court, you so could see young. that like, like the mad dog, aggressive. Mm. Yeah, he is like hungry. Yeah. Like, he wants to eat. <laughs> <laughs> You have yeah. the feeling too, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. You, yeah. You can say I am something on the court. Yeah. Which is like, yeah. I mean, I will play with my friends. Mm-hmm. It'll be fun. But if it's like a serious game, even if, let's say, you're my teammate, yeah. If you mess up, I will f- be the tongue like, dude, it's not right. You got to do it this way. But yeah. I won't be like straight up on your ass, but like, hey, dude, I'll let you know like what's better. Yeah, you can improve it, and I feel like the guy you're describing is same same stuff, man. Yeah, he's growing, he's young, talented. Yeah, he's true. been working really hard. True. Like I just recently been hanging out with him as well, and I've seen him work out and all that. So I'm like, yeah, guy's S- great. Well, speaking about basketball workouts, like yeah. from back then yes. till now, how is it different, like for basketball trainers to evolve? Oof. Okay. Uh. So basketball trainers. I okay. I also when when you were your age, yeah. I coach. I also started coaching kids. Let's say three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. So what happened is I still played basketball in Division Two that time. Yeah. Three four years ago. Do you got like any trainers on the side to train with, like individually? Uh, I usually have kids I train, but if you're talking about me training, yeah. No, I train myself. Okay. I train myself because I feel like. I need to know. I know myself more than anyone else. Okay. And but who do you watch? Do you got like any uh, inspiration? Well, back in days, 
obviously. I feel like it's Allen Iverson. Yeah, yeah, yeah Allen yeah, Iverson. AI, AI, AI Kyrie, yeah. Kyrie uh, would see his moves, but obviously, when I'll go on the court, let's say I'm just by myself, I will imagine yeah. that if I do this move, if that guy's gonna, that guy, person's gonna come, what what what, is, what will be the next move be, or what I'm gonna do? Okay. So I have to think one step ahead of what's gonna happen. Okay. That's how I think my game changed. Like, okay, I know what's gonna happen if I dribble this. Uh -huh. That person's gonna bite. If he doesn't bite, what's the move that I'm gonna make? Yeah, like a counter. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just gonna know all that. And from there on, I just grew. And I coach kids. It's fun. And I would say it's a lot of people are doing it now, which is also great. Yeah. Like, great. A lot of people are passing the knowledge to younger kids because they have to know how a basketball game is played. But just yeah. for. For fun or whatever it is, they know the whole education of the game, how is it played in Hong Kong as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then as it evolves, huh? Till now, till like, now, now is different or is it? It's like very different, man. Uh, with COVID, obviously parents are very tight with the kids' schedules. Uh, it was great three, four months ago where I would have two, three classes in a week. Yeah, yeah, and it was good. I mean, obviously, I get to pass my knowledge. To kids, to yeah. Kids and also make sure they're learning not just for the sake of it, mm -hmm. for the money I'm getting. Yeah. It just, I want them to grow out of it because that's what I want the kids to be like, to know how to play the game. And not only that, you can speak Cantonese. Uh, it's, it's, it's yeah, like it's a yeah. good it's a good way to connect with people. Yeah, I'll be honest. Because most I mean, of your clients are like what? Local. Local, Locals right? Locals or ABCs, yeah, yeah. yeah. Usually Harrow kids. Have you ever have like any ethnic minorities? Yeah. No, no, I did not. But I do have some people who want to. It just, they live quite far. So it's hard for me to like adjust the time because I'm usually free on like Thursdays and Sundays. And I would take those time just to coach kids. Yeah. And other parents, like not to say locals or whatever it is, they have better times. Yeah. And it goes with my time. So it was easier. I mean, uh -huh. yeah, I would love to coach EM. uh, EM's kids. But yeah, obviously I play with you. When we you play against me or whatever or anyone else, I think minorities, when they play against me and they always ask questions after it. Yeah, I get to learn. You yeah, know? Like, and yeah. I mean, that's the way I could pass the knowledge, which is good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's better for you and for me to see you grow next to me. Yeah. And I can always see how your game's changed. Yeah. And that's the thing I would say. A lot of people do it and I'm happy to coach. It's not that, I mean, bro, like, yes, everyone can teach. Everyone is a great teacher. Yeah. But what you put in that education that matters for that person yeah will he grow it out or will he just stay who it is yeah, yeah. true yeah so i mean i grew out from there really good it was hard <laughs> uh, but that's the experience though yeah, covid was like messed up big time 600 <laughs> yeah that's messed up man like courts but guys we ball in puyo so do not go there it's a secret court exactly but i heard there's a other courts as well yeah, K Town. Yeah, it's like you know, up in the mountains. Where else? K Town, but like damn K Town, I played there one time. Okay, yeah, that's a good. Point. Okay, talking about that. Okay, I'm gonna see. I have one of the question asked one of my friend. Okay. Yeah, we can go to questions right now. Okay, real quick. Real quick. All right. Not real quick, but we're hitting questions, questions. right now. Questions. Where is my friend Calvin? Oh, you want to pass the ball? Yeah. Uh, so you... Uh, oh, watch this. It's fake. Oh, you've got you right there. See, just like in basketball. I, just, I went left, but he went right. Fake pass. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> questions asked by Paolo Bezza. I think you know him as well. Yo, the, that guy, uh, yeah, yeah, no, Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, funny story. Okay. I think... Will I laugh? Not really. But like <laughs> I just did. Old, okay. old story, but like... Yeah. Okay. I know Paolo, and he said, you're my cousin. Like a real cousin. I'm just, and I actually believed it when I was young. So I was like, he's my cousin. But I was fucking around with him too. So is he your cousin? No. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how we met, dude. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he plays ball. He plays ball. What, do you, think of, what, do, you, what do you think of his game? <laughs> Toronto Raptors, number one. Yeah, luckily they won that freaking championship, bro. Like, yeah, <laughs> even Nate is like, nah, they shouldn't have won it for sure. Yeah. Like, but that's crazy. Um, that shot. Yeah, Kawhi. Fuck him. Yeah. So, what do you think, Paolo? What's his question, though? Uh, what inspires you to do better, even though you're already good at basketball? That's a very good question. 
can can you like elaborate more? <laughs> I'm just so true. <laughs> can you say one more time that okay, came across in my head? <laughs> what inspires you to do better? Even though you're good at basketball. Yeah. What inspires you? Right now. Well, even though you're b- better than basketball. I can't really think of it. You know, it hasn't clicked yet. Something you do better than other than even though you're good at basketball. Oh, maybe cooking. Okay. <laughs> oh, did I spill the tea? Yeah, I'm cooking. Maybe he cooking. He just spilled that tea. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cooking. That's good. Yeah. So cook at you- home. You cook at home by yourself. Yeah, got a. I got a couple of ingredients, like ingredients. In ingredients. Yeah, ingredients. Okay. In so. Thai. <laughs> ingredients. So you got that. And uh, I like. What's the latest stuff you cook by yourself? I call it um, MC strips. It's mac MC? and mac and cheese strips, chicken strips. It's chicken strips. Yeah. And you call it. MC strips. MC strips. You heard that, guys? All that MC strips, <laughs> bro. I actually it's gonna be coming out. We don't know when, but we'll make sure that he gets those. What? MC strips. Exactly. There we go. So MC okay. Strips. So how did MC strips happen? Yeah. Well, you know, since the situation right now, no courts. No courts. Six hundred today. <laughs> Close courts, you know, courts. all you have to hoop all the way where fucking new territory sides. Oh, that's sad. That's so sad. And the fare costs what? The 40, 40, bucks 40 bucks back and forth. Jesus Christ. So Would you hoop 40 bucks back and forth? <sighs> that's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I will do it mm-hmm. if the government pays me another 5K in my octopus. I think you got to be smart with it since like you can use the MTR rebate. There's a lot of uh, good techniques you could like skills, skills. say life skills. Uh-huh. Yeah, use the like can, can. Okay. octopus rebate. And then like once you get that shit, you're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but then yeah, it, it's tough. Okay. So yeah. food inspires you. Well, I think my dad. Cooking. My pops. So your pops. Yeah, because okay. I kind of grew up around him cooking a lot. And mm-hmm. while he cooks, he drinks. He drinks like Black Label. Like, it's crazy. Okay. Yeah, but then from that, I just love cooking because mm-hmm. I was inspired by him. Okay. You know, he got that Southern cooking style. So that's how you got into cooking as well? Yeah. Okay, that's good. I yeah. Mean, pass on. Pass yeah, on from, pass on. Pass on that to you as well. Okay, I got a next one. Wait, 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 wait. Before you go to the next one, how about you though? What inspires me? Yeah. Is what am I doing for my future? And how I'm going to be settling down for and what I can do for my family. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's family. That's a yeah, big word. Yeah, I mean, that's a big son. word. Yeah, I mean, yeah. family, it's what always out there and obviously you got to take care of them. Mm-hmm. And that inspired me like to work even harder and harder. Like I have to do something better for myself and for family. Yeah. And what's next for me ahead? Because yeah. COVID. Yeah. So I don't know if I'll live, touch wood, wherever it is, guys. Knock, knock, my dear. Amen. Exactly. Amen. So, I just want all the best, dude. Yeah, like, man. For everybody. Was, yeah. yeah, everyone. I mean, yeah, it's tough moments. But yeah. Got to keep tights, you know. Yeah. Kind of just like go You can't up. really add any hate what's going on right now. Yeah, I like, mean, all positive. Yeah. Be all, even though how bad it is, you just understand how people are and just positive vibes. Yeah. Hashtag that. Positive vibes. <laughs> 600. Like, and make sure you do catching sunlight. <laughs> if you don't know what catching sunlight is. Put a hashtag on that. Exactly. Let me show you. <laughs> So that's yeah, probably, do it, do it, do it right now. Dude. Just, you can do it right now. So it's like catching sunlight. It's like you're looking at the sun, but sunlight, <laughs> and you see the light on the face. It's called catching sunlight. Nate, do you see that? Exactly. That's how catching sunlight is done. All right, next question. You ready for this? Uh, Ooh, Kelvin been hitting me a lot of good questions. Kelvin is the man. I play ball with him. Pretty good. Okay. I got. Whew. Well, how did COVID impact your life? What positive things did it do for you? That's a good one. I like that. I like that. I give that a five star. Well, it you opened. You want me to say it again? No, nah, no. Nah, nah. <laughs> Just... I'm good right now. Okay. It opened a lot of like. So how did it impact your life? Let's talk about that first. Yeah, it opened a lot of like clear things on my head. Like, okay. you know, 
probably if I don't want to force something that I can't do. Okay. Like I want to force something where shit, I'm going to do this shit. Okay. Like you, you have that mentality, right? Mm-hmm. Like even though you step in the game, you still have that mentality. Okay. Like, you know. And so I just basically like spend time to know to know myself, okay. like my family too. Okay. Yeah. And from there, change change my whole life and so, perspective. Uh, your family, the whole thing impacted your uh, in the COVID, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, just it, how that how COVID impacted, but it also got in a positive way, right? Yeah, positive way, okay. definitely. Okay, 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 yeah. that's good. It helped right. me grow though a lot. <laughs> All right, how would we do this? You have some questions, I guess, on your phone. Okay, what's your favorite uh, dish growing up? Eating. Oh my god! First of all, I'm Indian. Uh, I feel I feel like how you guys figured already, I guess, or not? Because I look like Saudi. <laughs> this is how you know Sunny so well. <laughs> exactly. This yeah. Is, this is like they might be like, "Oh, you're from Saudi Arabia." I'm like, I can speak Arabic, but I'm not from Saudi Arabia. And yeah, uh, Indian. We love food. Grew up eating Indian food, so I would say favorite dish, bro. I don't even know if you know the name of this. Have you ever heard of this, bro? Acknowledge me. Okay. You heard who said acknowledge? Uh, it's called paranta. Paranta. Okay, so it's very simple. You know how paratha. Ro- yeah. Is it paratha? Yeah. yeah so paratha. basically, like a roti, yeah. and you can potatoes or chili, whatever inside, and they make it. I used to eat that every day in the morning back in India. I used to live in my mom's sister's home. Every morning, wake up, she would make like seven, eight, bro. <sighs> seven, eight with pickles and tea, bro. Living life. Pick mango pickles. Living life. Like you go <laughs> sit down, wake up early in the morning, and you're like. Just the food is coming in like, oh my God. <laughs> and imagine having yogurt. Oh, Oof. perfect. You're getting water in your mouth because I feel like I'm hungry. Yeah, same By the way, dude. talking about that, you're, sh- you're cooked. Are we going to see your dish next time when we record it? <laughs> what do you say? What, what do what? we say? Guys? If you think we should do that, please yeah, why not? like Pre- this. Yeah, like give this. like 1,000 like, likes or likes. something. Well, it doesn't have to be 1,000 <laughs> likes. It doesn't have to be 1,000 likes. I mean... Just yeah. like as much as you can, yeah, share bro. it out, whatever it is. If you want to see Josh getting his dish next time on this podcast, it's called, I'm going to tell you again, pass me the ball. Oh, that was oh, hot potato. Was hot. Give me the hot potato. Yeah, man. right here. Catch it. Oh, yo, hot see. potato. <laughs> <laughs> bro, sorry, man. I didn't uh, mean to hurt the road. Yeah. Okay. So you got it. Okay. So next time, if we get <laughs> what we think it's the right likes or the most likes we want. Josh himself. 1, All right, we got one thousand subscribers. Oh, okay. That's Nate okay. talking right now. One thousand subscribers. Talking. I'd say ten thousand. Ten thousand. We start with one thousand. We start with one thousand, and then Josh will make a dish and bring it out. Yeah, man, I'm excited, dude. All right. All right. Yeah. So, okay, you want to end this right here? End it right here. You want to end it? Right what, what, uh, do we, what, what do you want to say to them? Any last few words you want to tell them? Nothing really. You know, just. Enjoy, guys. <laughs> I hope you have a great time. I hope it was a great time to talk. Me talking to Josh first time. I've never like sit like this and talk to him. And I always want to thank Nate. Yeah. For giving us the opportunity to be out here. If you guys liked it, if you think it's funny, hilarious, or you want to add on something, whatever it is. And guys, share it out. Speed it out on Instagram. Facebook, which I don't even use it. But f- put it out, whatever you want. Share it out. And what? I'm too nervous, bro. Get some love. Yeah. Share some love. That's all we about. Sometimes in life you get nervous. Yes, you gotta sir. share love. Yes, sir. <laughs> and always remember, be happy, be positive, pass it yeah. on. We out. Thank you. <laughs>Thanks for watching guys and uh, please like and subscribe our channel and you know follow us on Instagram. Peace. Are we done?